Well, I think it's time to get underway. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders. It's great to be here. And of course, most of you are from the United States. So happy President's Day. So uh, let's see here. We've got 78 people here, but a lot. I, I just wondered how many will turn up being a uh, long weekend. So I'd like to uh, welcome you all. So traders, please feel free to take notes. Um, the recording will be made available because I'll cover a great deal of information over the next 90 minutes or so. So you'll be able to go back and watch your recording. So if you miss something, you will be able to uh, go back over it. So in today's webinar, traders, um, I'm not going to hold anything back. I'm going to show you some of the world's best day trading strategies. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm even going to explain them to you. Because as Gan famously said many years ago, there's nothing new under the sun. Now, let me turn the camera on for a sec so you can see that I'm, <laughs> uh, I've since uh, grown a beard. Uh, traders, COVID, I'll blame COVID. So I'd like to uh, welcome you here. So as I was just saying, traders, I'm not going to hold anything back. I'm going to uh, explain my setups in detail. I'll, uh, I want to cover um, my trading plan with you. I'll go through what pivot points are. Uh, we'll talk about open, high, low, and close, all of the key ingredients. But what's very, very important is to remember, this ain't rocket science. If you're a new trader, uh, it may seem like a foreign language, but over a month or so, you pick this up because here's what I want in the end. I want to earn your right to be your coach. I've got over 200 traders in my live trading room three nights a week and about 300 now in my coaching room every week, which I run twice a week, 6 to 8 p.m. What is it? Uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Eastern Standard Time, normally. Just depends whether it's a long weekend. So the way I do that is I believe by showing you the best of the best of what I've got to offer, um, uh, many of you will want to join me and that's what usually happens. On the other hand, we're also going to have not only new traders here, but I know we've got a lot of experienced traders. Some perhaps where trading isn't being as kind to you as what you'd like it to be. Have an open mind. It's very, very important. You know, the, the mind's like a parachute traders. It doesn't work if it's not open. So the only thing and the only reason why the setups do not work that I show you today is if the market's moving too fast. So today, for an example, we've got a lot of volatility with what's happening over in Ukraine, Belize. So um, when we do have a crazy market, we've got a couple of choices. We either set it out, we don't trade it, or you increase the time frame that you're trading. Now, there is a complication when we do that. That is, the higher the time frame, the larger the stop loss. And I'll explain that on a chart when we get to it, because that's very, very important. It comes down to your trading account size. Uh, that's the only reason. And, and the only other reason is you don't follow the rules. And as I always say, uh, traders, that trading is easy. The mastering of the mind is the hard side of it. It really is. So I'll turn the camera off and we'll get to some slides. And as I said, uh, the recording will be available. So welcome to those that have just logged in. So let me get that uh, off. So today we're going to be uh, focusing on CL, what I call the black gold, the Texas T. I think last week we did the ES. So we'll do uh, CL today. Okay, uh, let's get to here. So there is a risk in trading. If you're watching a recording, please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer. Traders, uh, don't trade with the rent money unless you're consistently profitable. And of course, the beauty of modern trading platforms now, you can trade on the simulator until you get the trade setups correct. So very, very important. So what are we going to cover? Some of these I'll be quick on, okay, because we could spend hours going through some of these points. I'm going to be going through a 500 to 2,000 a day blueprint. Realistically, how do you earn the big bucks? Traders, I'm not going to BS you. I'm going to show you what it really takes, how to start with a, low, with a small account or a large account. I'll show you and give you both options. Because once again, I've got coaching clients now that have been with me for five years that are full-time traders. So I want you, because 
if you're a full-time trader, um, uh, you're going to be paying me a monthly fee, potentially, okay? So I need to win your confidence, so I'm going to be direct on this. Uh, so I'll talk about how to trade like a casino, thinking in probabilities of 20. Then I'm going to be talking about some of the key setups, where you enter, where you place your stop, and where you exit the trade. Now, why should you listen to me? Traders, I've been doing this now for over 27 years. Um, uh, I'm a researcher. I've employed full-time traders, staff consultants, CTAs, that's commodity trading advisors, programmers, and as you probably saw in the background of my office, my trading den here, I've bought and invested. Fortunately, um, uh, financially, I've been very well off, so I've been able to buy whatever I've wanted to when it comes to trading. Do you know why? Because I love trading and researching. However, I don't trade 100 lots at a time. Some traders will say, well, look, Ray, your setups, why don't you trade 100? You know, you'd be making 50 mil a year. Realistically, traders, I'm 62. You've got to trade within your own comfort zone. And there's a massive difference between trading your own money and trading a fund's money. There is no comparison. So I'm a five to 10 lot trader. And the majority of full-time traders that trade for themselves out there trade only between one and 20 lots. Now, what I tend to find is the young guns, they will trade the big ones, okay? They're willing to go for the 50, 100, 200 lots, which you can do, Not all, you can't do that on all markets, but on uh, oil, of course, on the ES. So there are certain markets you can easily do that on. So I'm a modeler. I look at what others do and how they do it. What can I learn? I've been teaching NLP now for over 20 years, which is a study of nonverbal and verbal communication, neurolinguistic programming. And that's given me great insight. However, that's not what this is really about. Um, as a researcher, I have uh, close to 60 notebooks of trading notes now. Now you may be thinking, so bloody what? Excuse my language, ladies that are in the room. Traders, this is all about not looking for what I call the shiny object syndrome, which many traders do, but really how can I improve what I'm already doing? And likewise, for the traders that are here now, I want you to be open-minded and to be saying, okay, what can I learn from this? How can I use this to improve what I'm doing? And so I've got literally dozens and dozens of research reports. Fortunately, I've been able to employ some very smart people uh, who've written a lot of these just on different strategies, timeframes, software programs. Um, uh, on my PC, I've got over uh, two terabytes of research material. I've got literally hundreds of trading indicators that I've invested or had coded or trading systems and strategies. And you know what, I'm gonna tell you traders, virtually it really boils down to, as I mentioned, there's nothing new under the sun and some of the best of the best indicators are free. You get them on your best trading platforms, NinjaTrader, TradeStation, MT4, Thinkorswim, they all have them. So the great news is you don't have to go out and invest or, or spend a fortune on trading indicators. I've probably got it, okay? And I could tell you about it. Now, in today's session, because I'm gonna skip through some things, it's gonna be a bit like drinking out of a fire hose if you're a new trader. Don't get bogged down, okay? Uh, if you join me as a trader, we'll cover a lot of things. But as I say to all traders, don't get frustrated, get fascinated. And what I mean by that, when it comes to learning, if you get frustrated or if you're sitting there right now with your arms crossed, uncross them, because what it does has a massive effect on your learning. So what I'm about to show you, if you're a new trader, will only be the tip of the iceberg. Traders, you have to become what I call a student of the markets. There's, look, I call my program, my main program, the Day Traders Fast Track program, because I can fast track a trader, but you know there's one thing that I can't give a trader, and that is screen time. Yes, I do a lot of work with traders on the psychology of trading, but what you've still got to get is the screen time. So why do most traders fail? 
And by the way, this is very important as we lead in and we go to the charts. Look, there's really three key things. There's the strategies that you trade, there's your money management, and then there's the psychology. And I believe the strategies only really make up about 5% of trading. Uh, a massive, um, uh, sorry, 5% is money management that is staying within the 2% risk rule and the rest is the psychology of trading. Now, this is important and just because you might have think, found things hard in the past or difficult, we can do something about it. But you show me a man or woman um, uh, um, you know, without a dream, and I'll show you someone that's really probably not going to make it in this business. But show me a man or woman that's got a compelling future and the how will appear. And as I call this, get rich slowly. So what I'm going to do is show you how we start with a small account and we build. And when we get to the charts, you'll see how we do it live. So let's just say here that even if you've got 50 to $100,000, Go and invest most of it. You can start, as you will see, if you've got a really small account with $700. Uh, if you've got a huge account, put 5,000 in your account because you've got to earn the right to trade multiple contracts. Now, these spreadsheets, by the way, if you if you do become a member, and I'm not going to do a huge sales job on you, okay? But if you do, you, you get all of this in my program anyway. But today we're going to be looking at CL, and what this means is, quite frankly, is we never risk more than two percent. If you do, you're probably going to blow your trading account. That's reality. But down here, when we look at CL oil, we're going to be looking at trading an eight tick Renko chart. Now. Uh, sorry, sorry, my apologies, a two tick, uh, but our total risk is eight ticks, I should say. And that means if we never risk many, any more than 2%, you need 4,000 in your account. Now, what if you have less than that? Now, if you say trade, start off by trading the MES, uh, uh, the micro, which we will quickly look at, you only need, you want to put a little bit of a buffer on there, say $700, but you can get away with $500. So you don't need to have a massive account to do this, but there's only one way to approach mastering the art of, of the, the art of day trading traders. It's the right way. You know, if you're going undercapitalized or if you don't have the right tools, such as the right trading program or even the right broker, and I'm trading platform neutral and broker neutral. As long as they're fully regulated, the commissions are competitive. And when it comes to trading platforms, of course, you've got Think or Swim. I now, I now use NT8. I was with TradeStation for over 20 years. But uh, TradeStation, NT8, Think or Swim, MT4, depending on your platform. But let's just say here in this example, when we go to oil, okay, Realistically, you need $4,000. If you don't have $4,000, you start off on, say, the MES or even uh, the NQ. Uh, the 6E, the, the Euro Futures, is also a great market. Okay, That's very, very good for what we do. So here's what it means, bottom line. Now, if you've got a $4,000 sorry, a $4, account and you net $100 a day, it would take you, and let's just say here, you're a younger person, you want to be earning your 10 grand a week, it would take you 30 weeks to get up to be earning your 10,000 a week, and you'd be trading 20 lots. Now, how, how my spreadsheets work is that you trade one contract until you double your money. So what you will see other people will promote, well, look, you can do it a lot quicker, and yes, you can, but look, there are old traders, there are bold traders, but there are no old bold traders, meaning you've got to do it properly. So when we double our money, we start trading two. When we get another 4,000, we start trading three. So the reality is that in week 30, your capital's nearly 100,000 and you're earning your 10G a week. Now that's on $100. Now how do we do that? I will show you when we get to the charts. It's basically two scalps a day. Let's up it a bit. If we go to 150 a day, we're up there, okay, uh, in 18 weeks, and let's just look closely then 
at the final one. And yes, I know some of you are probably doing your five to six hundred dollars a day uh, on CL. It's pretty straightforward to get to three to four hundred. But let's be conservative. Okay, two hundred a day. We're up to our potential of ten thousand a week in twelve weeks. That is three eight tick trades a day net. Okay, that's what I call net after any losses. Now with that, how do you actually get there? I've also even got, because in, tr in putting together your trading plan, you've also got to be realistic on how many trades a day do I need to undertake or execute to get there? Now, if you'll say trading the 2B, the 2B, as you'll see today, traders, is a very, very, it's it's generally an 80 to an 85% probability trade. Your 34B is 75%. Uh, I'll be showing you both of those. Uh, there, to get our 200 a day for an 8-tick stop loss, 8-tick target, we'd need to execute, on average, 6 ticks a, a, a day. Sorry, 6 trades a day. Let me get that right. Um now, realistically, if you're going for runners, of course, you can really cut back on that. But let's just say you're a scalper. That is, you want to be get in and out, in and out. You'd be allowing six uh, trades a day. Now, what if you want to really take the pressure off yourself and maybe you're uh, a mature age person like myself and you say, well, look, Ray, I love my golf. Uh, I'm happy to sit in front of a screen for, say, two hours a day. Traders, and I'm going to say two hours a day instead of say, you know, 20 minutes and an hour, because this is a pattern solving exercise. And I generally find that traders try to, unless you're a swing trader, it's a lot more difficult to really master and become a really good day trader if you're not putting in on average a couple of hours a day. Now, the beautiful part about it is now that we can trade futures 23 hours a day, like right now, it's the Globex session. It's pumping today. Okay, so if you want to get to your five grand a week, that's 10 contracts at $100 a day. Now, very quickly, um, this is from Raymond, one of my long-term members. Well, actually, he joined last year. He's been with me about a year. Just talking about having a smaller account and just really what a breakthrough it is for traders. If you start off by trading the Yes, Lisa, I see your name now. I think you were with me last week and you actually sent me an email about this, if, I'm, if you're the same, Lisa. Um, and I just won't say your surname. Uh, just here, so if you go for $20 a day on a $700 account trading the, uh, oh yes, so yes, very good. So I think I actually mentioned this. I think you asked me, um, so Lisa uh, emailed me and asked me, look, what are the true costs? In getting going and I said well really you've got uh, to fund your account and you'd start off on the micro Lisa sort of shared what her account size would be and so I said look 700 and your trading platform say with Ninja Trader you can buy it outright or you can lease it or of course you can go for think or swim but if you're looking for the best of the best either trade station or Ninja Trader and no I don't get a cent from them at all okay so $20 a day just 20 or, and remember on the micros, the micros are 10% of the value of the big contract. So what this means for the experienced traders in the room, we're assuming here you would have a $7,000 account and you're earning 200 a day. You'd be up to, in this case on the micro, you would be up to um, uh, your 10 grand a week in 38 weeks. Now just on what I just said there, so if we just quickly, Say if you had 7,000 in your account, okay, and you were going for 200 a day, whoops, took that, but, okay, it would take you there, um, where are we here? 21 weeks, and you're earning your 10 grand a week, or whatever, if it's 5,000, you're there in 16 weeks on 200 a day, but remember, you're only starting to trade a second contract once you hit another 7,000 in your account. So even if you've got the money there, don't be tempted because one of the greatest challenges, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching and the greatest challenge I have with traders is the psych, dealing with the psychological damage with my one-to-one -one clients and even with, the group, with my general group clients. Um, uh, 
the psychological damage that's been done after they've blown their account two or three times, very hard to recover. Okay, so there's only one way to do it and it's properly. Now, what if you only go for $10 a day? Okay, now in this case, yes, it's gonna take you 16 months to get to your 10 grand a week. But what actually happens is that as you practice trading, yes, you're building your confidence, but you're also dealing and building your competence traders. And that's really important that you're building that competence level. So in the end, once you get up to 4,000, then you jump over to a big contract. Now, the bottom line is this, is it in, it'll take you 62 weeks, okay? It'll take you one year and four months of starting with 700 and only going for $10 a day. That's how you build it. So let's now start to get down to the nitty gritty. Can you do this? Yes, if you follow what I call the Goldilocks rule. And what do I mean by that? Uh, traders, look, the Goldilocks rule states that humans experience peak motivation when working on things that are right on the edge of their current abilities, not too hard, not too easy, just right. What I tend to find with traders, it's really important that you start on the basis traders of something where it's just right, one or two strategies maximum and you build from there. And that's one of the greatest destroyers of a trader is they take too much on and they, they're a jack of all trades, master of none. Linda Rashke, who's been um, in the trading business since 1982, huge amount of respect for Linda, lovely, lovely lady, is that as she says here, uh, let me say that the majority of the professional S&P traders I know tend to specialize in just one pattern or trade one style, okay? And as she says here, intellect has nothing to do with your ability as a trader. It's hard to um, accept that in a society that puts a premium on intellect. This is about following the rules. And in this great quote, you know what? I don't even know if he really said that, but there's a lot of posters here. I feel if you're not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, and I'm just gonna close my emails. I apologize there, but uh, otherwise it'll keep tinging away there. There we go. So what that really means, traders, become a specialist. And when that, when that, what that means is when it comes to trading, become a specialist, focus, become a trend trader and focus in only a couple of setups. That's all you need as you'll see today. Now, the rules of a game before we get to the charts are this. We never ever risk any more than 2% of our capital. As you build your account, I risk 0.5%. But yes, all right, I've got the capital behind me, but it makes it so much easier. So as you build your account, yes, your return on capital becomes lower, but it becomes psychologically a lot easier to trade. But you can do that as you start to get above 100,000, etc. Now, what that would mean is here, as I showed on the previous chart, it would mean that to, to trade the ES where it's uh, 1250 a tick, you would need 3,750 in your account. We also trend trade only until you're consistently profitable. And I recommend, and I've got um, a lot of traders have gone from trend trading to both counter trend and trend, and now they just trend trade alone. <clears throat> and even if you go from uh, um, from trend trading to CT trading, you halve the number of contracts when you first go. You know, the burden in the hand is better than two in the bush, meaning that if you enter a CT trade, a counter trend trade, and by the time the market turns and you decide to get out, the, the, the with trend is well and truly underway and you miss out. So, and, and for some reason, we love to pick market turns, okay? But quite often, 80% of the time, the market will continue. The next thing is, we limit the number of setups. I want to really ingrain this in your in your mind, traders. You want to trade only the 34B and the 2B. Which ones? 34B and the 2B. You can expand from there. As I also said, 
discipline, patience, focus, and you must become a student of the market. Traders, we are trading against traders that have been doing this for many, many years. Okay, um, we're trading against bots. We, you know, we've got all sorts of challenges that we're trading against. Now, fortunately, as I said, this isn't a game of intellect. It's about being consistent. Okay, it's about consistency with your setups. But you've got to become a student. You've got to be interested in what you do. Now, how do we achieve 75% plus winning trades? We trade with the trend. Now, I know some of you are probably saying, oh, I've heard all this before. Yes, and the reason you haven't probably made it yet is maybe you've broken a few of the rules along the way. So we want to buy the dips and sell the, the rallies. And by the way, that's not meant to be condescending. Okay, a lot of the challenges that traders have can be very, very deep rooted, but we can do something about it. And if trading hasn't been good to you up to now, you've got to turn around and to help yourself get over it. What we've got to do traders is draw a line in the sand and say, well, look, I might have stuffed up to now or maybe it hasn't worked. It's just been the cost of my education up till now. Because if we don't get your mindset right, it doesn't work. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these, but there's many setups that I teach, okay? There's a ton of, and, and you may wonder, why so many different setups? Well, you've got different setups with different markets or different um, time frames or, or different conditions. Like a 21B is a shallow pullback. A 3B is where you've got multiple EMA bounces on three charts. Uh, the T78 is following, is taking any trades on a lower time frame in the direction of the channel on a higher time frame. You, the beautiful part is you'll learn these over a period of time. Focus on initially the 2B and the 34B. There's also, of course, trend continuation. There's rule of one. Now, today we're looking, as I mentioned, at Renko. So I might refer to, and I just want to mention this now in case I forget it. We, I'll sometimes refer to the rule of one, and I'll explain that. It's, it's, you can only use it on Renko. If you, if you trade range charts, which are also excellent, you use the rule of two. I just wanted to uh, mention that. Pivot magnet trades, we trade those every day. Look, I can show you just tons of charts and, and things from members and research reports they send in. You know, the, the returns they're getting. Look, anyone can do that. The bottom line is, traders, these strategies kick butt because they're, they're the logic behind them, which you're about to see. We also have a range of change in market direction. For example, we've got the T5, which just really kicks any market for trends well. We're looking for two things to happen, one on an entry chart and another on an anchor chart. Easy to pick, just take a little bit of um, getting used to just looking at two charts, waiting for the same things to confirm, but that works brilliantly. Then there's your counter trend strategies. Now, you, here I am telling you, don't trade CT trading, but you still need to understand it. And the reason is this, if you have multiple divergences appearing on your entry chart and higher time frames, you don't want to step in front of those. So trading counter trend, so trading sorry with the trend, you need to learn when to sit on the sidelines. A T19 is where you only have divergence on your entry chart. Okay, that's your lowest probability um, divergence trading, which we'll probably point that out as we get there. Now here's just um, uh, some of my CT trades here, where that's what we call a 2D, very high probability. But when we take those, you're always looking ahead, what's in front of this? And traders, let me say this, and this is where a lot of traders, I know they're not trading full time because they say you've always got to go for a two to one. Okay, if you're risking $100, you've got to go for $200. But traders, that's just not true because if you're trading, say a counter trend trade into 
a rising major EMA or into a pivot or on CL around number, which I'll explain seeing we're looking at oil today, you are going to get a bounce 90% of the time. So what that means is if you are selling into a major um, a pivot level or a major EMA or even an open high low and close at times, you're going to bounce. Now, that's where, and this is actually a two tick chart. This is a few years old, this chart, but here, this is the chart you'd have an eight tick stop on. And here, I managed to get eight ticks out of it. What if you only had room for five ticks? Well, I will still take those in certain circumstances, even though my stop might be larger, because it's such a high probability trade. Okay, and I'll probably point out a few of those as we get to it. Now, here, Here's a 1D. Why didn't I take that trade? Note how close I am to this particular moving average and it's only a 1D. Up here, this is what we call a loaded trade. Remember I said I was gonna to talk to you about trading pivot points and pivot bounces. That's actually called a midline pivot. Pivots are based upon the open high low and close of yesterday and most indicate, sorry, most trading platforms have these and they're free. You don't have to buy them. And pivots are really, unlike most indicators, most indicators are predicated on price. They're lagging indicators. But pivots, and same with the open high low and close, they're pretty much what we call predictive indicators. And the reason they're predictive is because they um, plot in advance on price in the past. And because so many traders trade them, they become a self-fulfilling prophecy, a little bit like FIB levels. Now, excuse me one moment, I'm about to cough, excuse me. Pardon me. Um, even though, I, you know, I'll talk about FIB levels, I've got to say I'm not a, a huge thing, like there we've probably got a 50 to 62% retracement. If you love your FIB levels, fantastic. My setup to work beautifully there. Um, but they're pretty much a self-fulfilling prophecy now because so many traders trade them. Now, I mentioned here that this is a loaded trade and here is why. Yes, I've got divergence on two time frames there and there. Yes, I'm bouncing off a pivot. Sorry about this one sec. Always get excited, start coughing. Uh, and up here, see that line there? That's a 200 EMA. Look how we're bouncing off that. You will see these every single day. EMA bounces. And it's like one of the best kept secrets of trading. Major EMAs on your anchor charts become what we call uh, price magnets. Okay, and bounce points. And so that becomes a, a, a really just a, a low to trade when you get a bounce off a pivot and off a, a 200 EMA. Now, nearly all the EMAs I use traders, by the way, but except for the 200 are um, Fibonacci numbers. Okay, now whether that has a huge effect on it, I don't know, but I just use Fibonacci now um, just because so many of my members do. So all except for the 200, like 233, that's the closest Fib number, by the way, to a 200. And just for fun, a couple of weeks ago in the live room, I said, let's put it on and see if it makes any difference. But, you know, it didn't make any difference, we don't think. So I've decided to stick with that. Now, moving along here, um, a uh, couple of other major divert. Now here, this is very important again. All right, we've got a pivot bounce here. And this is where once again, you've got to understand the power of pivots. Here, I'm bouncing off uh, a major floor pivot there, which is the S1. Little double bottom, bang, up we go. See these dashed lines. I'll explain them when we get Notice how we bounce right off there, but look over at your anchor chart again. We're bouncing again. Now, this is one of the trades we will be looking at. We'll even take, if we see a few, uh, a 2B. Your 2B is going to be one of the highest probability trades you'll ever take. They're easy to pick, they're easy to trade, and they're trend following. 
Now, this gets back to what I was talking to you about, um, uh, your targets. Now, when you sell into a pivot, that becomes what we call a T28 or, or a pivot magnet trade. And that becomes a very high probability trade. You're generally looking at around 80% uh, with any good trendy market. Uh, ES, NQ, oil, gold, um, uh, um, uh, Euro, Aussie dollar, all of those, where as you get closer to a pivot, trading with the trend, the pivots become very much a magnet, okay? And they're great scalping opportunities when you sell or buy into a pivot. But look at this over here again, you're bouncing off the 200. We actually call that a T12 setup because we see it um, every day. So I'm just hurrying some of these along so we can get to the charts. So as I say here, keep it simple um, uh, or you'll end up um, you know, suffering. It's called ego depletion and decision fatigue. They're, they're very, very similar. We become fatigued. And the best way of putting it is imagine you've got a bucket of water. And as I said, I, I study science and um, there's so, so much research on this now that the more decisions we make in a day, the more likely we are to make mistakes. And so every time you make a trading decision, imagine with a setup, you're taking a cup of water out of that bucket eventually you run out of water. And that's what happens, we start making silly mistakes. And that's why whenever you're back testing a strategy also, you've got to apply um, a deliberate practice to those strategies. What can I learn from this? And you should become fatigued. And so um, perhaps I'm digressing a little bit there, but it's really important that you approach that, how can I improve what I'm doing now? We focus on the 34B and the 2B. Why? They're both, both trend following. Now, once you own them, once you can see them in your sleep, that's when you can consider adding others to your repertoire, if you like. Now, you still need to understand what constitutes a trend. How do I recognize the start of a new trend? And I'll show you, give you some ideas on that today. Also, divergence and angulation. Is, sounds a big word, but it's really easy when you see it. Now, supporting what I'm talking about here, traders, is a couple of things. Why trade with a trend? Well, a trend will continue rather than reverse about 80% of the time. So if we think and trade like a casino, and you hear me talk, well, hear me talk a lot about that. A casino only puts in the casino games that they know have got a high probability of making money over a given series of trades. And Mark Douglas, unfortunately, has passed away far too young, wrote these two excellent books, A Disciplined Trader and Trading in the Zone. And Mark really, really, he was a great educator for me, and particularly about understanding the concept, we've got to learn to think and trade in trade lots of 20 trades. And that is, um, uh, the individual trade means nothing. If I have a losing trade, it means nothing as long as I've followed my rules. It takes a bit of getting used to, but once you understand it, it makes trading so much easier. Now, what Mark says in his book in page 209, and I recommend, by the way, everyone gets that, and it should be your trading Bible from a psychological point of view. To become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern, preferably one as me mechanical rather than mathematical, so you'll be working with a visual representation of market behavior, okay? And that's what we do. Virtually every one of the setups that we'll be going through are pattern-based and also rules-based. So when you've got rules behind your trading setups, why you should be taking them, uh, and their patterns are easier to learn. Now, the reason the strategies work, all of these, including the pivot magnet trades, selling or buying them, they're all trend following, okay? So basically, for most of them, most of them are not breakout strategies. You don't need to, breakout is a lower probability, generally speaking, we're waiting for a pullback or retracement, 
and then a trend continuation. Now, the issue is not whether they work. Will you follow the rules? And there's just so many great books written about trading with the trend, etc. It's about following the strategies that really suit you. So as we get to the charts, just a couple of slides and then we're there. Okay, here are the fundamentals traders that we need to consider before we go live. Number one, do we have any red flag news for the day? All right, so we need to check our red flag news. And what I do, and I'll quickly show you this, uh, this is important because you've got to practice what I call the fundamentals every day. And one of the fundamentals are we always check a Econo Day. Free website, we go to a Econo Day, of course, being... Um, the holiday for President's Day, but looking at Tuesday, it tells us what we've got ahead. Okay, these red flags, and by the way, it's not just the red flags, some of the green flags can be market movers as well. We'll cover those in training. But we also want to be checking Forex Factory. Econo Day is great, but sometimes there'll be something just before the market opens, or if you're trading like right now, what we call the Globex session, you want to really see what's happening there as well. So that's very important you do that. On your broker, of course, the 2% rule, um, does the market have volume, does it trend well? So the market we choose needs to have volume, um, uh, needs to have like if we look at today, this is what I do, by the way. So these are either markets I trade or I'm interested in. So what I can do, and this is under market analyzer, by the way, you can set this up if you're on NinjaTrader. And of course I had this on TradeStation, but what's important for me is my volume. Now look at this here. On oil, we're already up to 258,000. Now this is exceptional volume trading and the ES is up at 500,000. Now, what that tells us, traders, we need to be very cautious with our trading today because the market moves that quickly. You get slippage, it can reverse quickly, etc. And after a while, you get to read the volume, not necessarily for, I'm not a, a market profile trader, but, but it just gives you an idea what's happening out there. The best time frames, now this is important. Where we've got the New York session, we're now in the Asian or the Globex session, which will roll over into London. Now, when it comes to the time frame, like uh, if you're trading oil or the ES, quite often during a Globex session, which is in where we can trade a one or two tick chart, which is fantastic. That's on, on Renko. Um, uh, on a tick chart, you might trade a, a 34 or a 55 tick chart. And the thing about that, it's great because your stops are smaller and it's easier to hit your larger targets. However, you've got to make sure that it doesn't take off on you. And it, you know, what's the best time frame for one that is tradable? Now, what you will see as traders, I use three time frames. You only need to start with two: the EC, which is the entry chart, and your anchor chart. As you build over time or develop, you can add the third one. Now, the best times is a formula that I use, which is beyond today's, um, it's very simple, just mathematical formula, whether you're trading uh, Renko or, or range or time-based and other types of charts we use. I found there's this ideal time frame where they, you get multiple EMA bounces. And last of all, what's on this last one here? Look, I'll explain this on the charts when we get there, but where's my entry? Oh, very important, what indicators do I need? Traders, I give you all the indicators that I have encoded that all the indicators that you need, there's nothing to buy, okay? I'd love to say buy my $3,000 package, but you know what? I have reversed engineered so many things and they're usually a takeoff, usually, a take off and I say that out of respect for people that do maybe have something unique. I do have some unique indicators I have bought that do some, some pretty sexy things, but there are free indicators that will model them and do almost the same thing. Okay, um, so where's my entry? Where do I place my stop and where's my target? They're the key things as we're about to go to the charts, but we also want to know do you have what I call blue skies ahead? That is what's in front of your trade. 
if we're day trading or scalping, we want to know where our pivots are, where the open, high, low and close is of the previous day, and we want to know where the major EMAs are and major support resistance areas. All of these are rules based. Look, setting in major support resistance, you, you learn it in a couple, it's not difficult, all of these, but we'll find that we bounce off those points all the time. So let's get to the chart, shall we? So uh, what we're looking at here, let me just get here. So what I've got right here is CL, the Texas T. And this is what we call a two tick chart. So uh, each one of these candles is two ticks in value or $20. So a tick on CL is worth $10. And it's also a point, a tick and a point on CL are the same thing. I call these steps traders. Okay, so each one of these is a $10 step. Now with oil, um, uh, there's also a micro contract which trades at 10% of a value. So you can start with the micro, which is a dollar a tick or a point. Now, I have a problem with the micro oil. And one of the things that will show you this, and just to prove this, let me show you this. With the ES uh, and say the NASDAQ and the Russell, we've got micros on those as well. So if we look at, say, the NASDAQ right now, so far today for the Globex session, since it's done 273,000 contracts. Now on the micro NQ, it's done 921, that massive. Now, if you go and look at oil, 259,000 contracts, yet on the micro oil, it's only done 76,000. Now, and that's still pretty high. Now what you'll find is with oil, with virtually all micros, they will model their big brothers almost identically, except we tend to find with CL because the market makers are involved, it plots differently and it lags. Okay, so I'd love to say, yes, you can start off trading this market without the micro oil contract, but I'd say start with the micro ES or even the NASDAQ or the Russell or the Dow. Okay, you've got other options, which are only 50 cents to $1.25 a tick rather than $10. Now, let me point out, let me expand this and let's start on this exactly what we're looking for. Note that the, the black horizontal line. And what you'll see here that I've got it on certain spots. When it comes to oil, there's a couple of unique things. And apparently this is all meant to be a secret, but <laughs> anyway, it's the worst kept secret if it's true, but so many traders don't know this about oil. We plot a horizontal line at the 20 cent, 50 cent and 80 cent level. An example, if we look at this here, let's just go back a bit. Whoops, just move it up. Let me just pull that, put it back where it's meant to be and move this along. Okay, no bounce, but here we bounced at 50. Look at this, we bounced 50, 50, 50. I'm just saying, whoops, and let me just get back. Up here, we bounced at 80. Okay, over here, well, well, that's a pivot bounce, but here we bounced again at 93. Now, is that a coincidence? Absolutely not. Uh, what we've got is so many traders that trade oil know that these are price magnet levels and reversal points, and we trade them. So let's just say here we were to take this trade just here. This is actually a 2B trade. So a 2B trade is, is where we have bounces, and let me get back to this, on multiple uh, time frames. I want you to look at the middle time frame. You can, I know it looks messy, but there's EMAs all on the uptrend. So we're bouncing off there, just in the middle there. Now I'm on the middle. You're bouncing there and you're bouncing here. This is what we call a 2B trade, okay? Now let's just go back a little and I'll just show you since we've been sitting here, actually let's just go back a little while here and look at all the 2Bs. Now, as I said, there's only one reason 
why these will not work for you. Uh, well, actually, there's a couple. Let me tell you why they won't work. Number one, if the time frame's too high, or too low, sorry. Like, as I mentioned, the markets are going crazy today. So you need to either sit on the sidelines or increase your time frame. Two is if you don't follow the rules. And the rules are this for a start. Whenever you have an 89 and a sideways 200 EMA, you never, ever, ever take the trade. You sit it out until you see a clear, clean breakout. And I'll explain what that is. Now, I know we've got a lot of experienced traders in the room, so please jot this down because you'll also, even if you don't become a member, you'll still find huge benefits in this. Now, this is what, now the market opened at 1700 hours, which is just way back over here. Okay, now this is, uh, it opens up, uh, we can see it's opened up here. See, this is what we call the trading range. Now, it's very easy to identify because the 200 EMA is basically horizontal, okay? Now, see this here. We've now formed a new higher high, just there. So we've now got a new higher high. Sorry, let me just, just turn that off so it's out the way. Did I just flip back? Damn it. Sorry, everyone, let me just go back to there. Uh, where were we? Sorry, everyone, let me just get back to there. I forget where we were. Oh, here. here. We, we were just here. I'll explain these here and then we'll go to the, as we're live. We formed a new higher high. Remember I spoke to you about the term angulation. So what exactly is angulation? Angulation is where you have price angle away very, very strongly from your major EMAs. And see that there? That's what we call angulation. In fact, when you have a move like this, if it meets certain conditions, they are also tradable for reversal. This one is too close to the major EMA, so it's not, it doesn't, we call them T3s, but you can't trade that. Well, you could, but you'd have to be very, very quick. Now, look at the time, 1709, 1711. So this is all what we call tradable here. Now, this is what you'd be looking at, what we are looking at a few minutes ago. We've made a new higher high. I want you to look at the formation of the EMAs here. See how they're starting the fan they've crossed back up above. So I've made a new higher high on price. I'm starting to get a fanning and I'm bouncing off the 9320 area. Where's my entry? It's on the close of the third candle. In fact, I would be using a buy stop which means I would not be in until the close of the fourth candle. Why is that? Well, I'm gonna give you a very easy entry um, how you can enter these, providing it's not pumping too fast. If it is, I'll use a market order, and that is this. When we see price retracing back to our major EMAs, the very first green candle, that white paint white paint bar does not appear until I get a down tick below the second. As soon as I get an uptick above the second, it plots, okay? So that white paint bar does not appear until the third, I get an uptick above the second. Come back down, but I've got to get an uptick. So let's just say at this stage, you had one green candle there. Let's just go back to this. That trade is, is what we call a get ready. So I'm just moving my trading dome out the way getting it ready if we see something oh did it move no it's all right sorry getting it ready if we see a trade shortly okay so we've got a one green candle that's it get ready then you get a red candle the next one just there would be green again before it goes white the second candle up candles what we call your get ready get set next one is your go very simply to get in, as soon as you have that green candle, we simply count up five candles. One, two, three, four, five. And at the height of that fifth one, the body, it's really easy. You've got a two tick, you count up five, you put a buy stop. So you've got a buy stop sitting there. So if the market goes like, 
crazy, you are automatically stopped into that trade and your stop on your ATM, on your dome, puts you one tick below. So if I'm in here on the close of a four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got an eight tick stop, $80. So what's my target? Ideally, I want to be going for eight ticks is my target. That's what I'm after. Now, three of those, okay, that's 240 less commissions. And of course, um, you can, you know, you've got to take away any losses, but that is where we go down and we can simply work out what our average return is, how many trades a day on average, if we're going for an eight tick target with an eight tick stop. Now, these are all tools for your business plan. So as we take off, now what about trailing? Let's talk about a couple of things here. First of all, what's in front of us? When we enter that trade, remember, do I have blue sky? Well, I certainly do have here in front of me. My next pivot is not till miles above. All I've got in front of me here is 50 cent, the 50 cent level. Okay, that's my closest magnet at that time. Unless on the anchor charts, we've got, and lo and behold, we actually did have coincidentally. Okay, see that just there. See how we had the 200 and see, <laughs> this, is just a, this is just a classic um, thing here I want to show you. See how we went up there and we bounced off the 200. Remember I spoke to you about loaded trades and you can take a trade if it's a loaded one and get a shorter scalp. There was one right there, your major EMAs, but what we're actually looking at then traders, if, you, if you're, and I should say, if you're trading one contract, traders, go for a fixed target. That's what I recommend. So eight tick stop, eight tick, maybe a 12 tick target. And the reason I say that, if you've got a really fast moving market, go for a larger target because I, you know, generally it's so much easier. So that would be $120. So what am I now waiting for? Let's leave the anchor charts up and I'm now waiting for a retracement. Now I'm looking for major EMA bounces. Now, that was a 2B. This was, uh, no it wasn't actually, it didn't quite pull back enough. Yes, it's bouncing off my green EMA, but it needs to bounce off the red or deeper. So that was a 2B. Now, what's that just there? Traders, the 34B. The 34B is a standalone setup. Um, uh, you don't need any other charts um, to confirm the trade except for the trend. So look at your anchor charts. What's the trend direction on your anchor chart one and two? Well, at least for now, we're in an uptrend. Great. So what's the 34 EMA telling me here? I'm in an uptrend. Look down here. I've even got a short term stochastic hook. Okay. Now, if you're a pure price action trader, you can forget that if you wish, but it's a nice confirmation. So what we've got there is a 34B. Now, remember I mentioned the rule of one. The rule of one is where on Renko charts, Rather than waiting for the higher closes, you can enter on the first candle of the closes back in the direction of a trend. We call that the rule of one. But you can only do that if the EMAs are trending strongly. Okay, only if they're trending strongly. Here, we're trending strongly. Now, there would be one thing where we would not take this trade and it's this see here how i've got a lower high that's what we call divergence i've got a higher high on price i've got a lower high on my macd look over at your anchor charts one and two we don't actually have divergence remember and this is just by coincidence, remember on that slide I showed you earlier and I said a T19, that's my lowest probability trade and that's it. 
because many of those turn into what we call a 34B. That is, we have divergence on the lowest time frame that quite often turns into a 34B. So we will take this. Now, realistically, where's my entry? My entry is not going to be until one tick above because the candle's got to close. OK, so we're not going to be in to there. So what's my risk? If I enter a two tick chart with the rule of one, my risk, OK, my risk then is only going to be six ticks. One, two, three, four, five one tick below. I like to see my stop below. Now, what if, though, traders, the market had taken off very quickly? Well, then you've got a choice to either tuck it under and to increase, maybe you've got to go up to eight ticks, or you just go along with the momentum and use a fixed stop. That's sort of a, a preference. Lots, you know, It's the, the unanswered question. It depends which trader you speak to. Now, I've got a six tick stop here. So I'm after a minimum of six ticks, preferably eight ticks. So let's just see how we go with this one. Now, I know we are in our trend. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, at six, I'm at break even. Okay, I want to lock in, go to break even at six, seven, eight. Now, we only touch eight and look what is above us. The 50 cent mark. Okay, so we're one cent off that. Okay, we're one cent off. Now there you've touched eight ticks, but it doesn't mean you were filled. Got to remember that. In any backtesting, you've got to always look for a tick through your target. You must tick through it. Because as you'll see, when I live trade, particularly in the room, you'll see I get hit all the time, four, five, six, and finally I get filled. So that's going to happen. Okay, so now what am I waiting for? We, remember, we're only trading uh, trend trades. So what I'm looking for now is a retracement, a pullback. Now, as we pull back, you'll notice that our EMAs are all starting to level out. But there are two key EMAs, which are absolutely critical. You'll see every day we bounce off. Okay, well, we bounce off all of them, but the 89 and the 200. Now, as you approach these EMAs, we're always getting ready for another trade. Now, okay, I'm about to say, it looks like we're going to come down to the 200. Now, all you would see is what at that stage? All you would see is a one green candle. Get ready, get set, go. Okay, so that's my get ready, get set, that is a go. Okay, now that trade is, is what we call a 2B. Now, look over at your anchor charts. And actually, what I will do, let me just expand this where I just show you one chart, okay? Let's forget the anchor chart too. And, and I should just explain it. The anchor chart too is another time frame even higher. Uh, if you're after, say, just trading the best of the best of the best of the best, do you have an EMA bounce on the, we just call it the AC2, anchor chart two. Okay, because when you get a major EMA bounce there also, you'll also achieve larger targets in your eight ticks. So you'll be able to go for the larger runs. Now, this is a 2B. Now, remember I said to you about trading the 34B, I want you to notice, what are we bouncing on? on your anchor chart one. Guess what? It happens to be a 34B. Here, I've got an 89B. This makes it a 2B. Let's talk targets. Now, my entry, once again, is going to be in on the fourth brick. I, I just call them candles, but technically they're meant to be called bricks. My stop will go, providing I manage to get in quick enough, one tick below. Whenever we take a trade, we're always thinking what's in front of us. Well, we can see quite obviously that we're above our major EMA, so that's not an issue. We already know that we don't have any open high low in front of us at this stage, and, uh, and soon we'll have a closer look at that. But what I do have above me is the 50 cent level, okay? So I do have that there, and I've also got this little swing high here, 
So that's the high of the day. So we'd be in this. So if you're going to trail, okay, and there you had a reversal candle. Now here, if you were trailing, remember you weren't until there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, there you've got your eight ticks anyway. You would be out with that eight ticks. But let's just see where this goes and then we'll go live. Okay, so now we've hit the 50 cent and lo and behold, what's happened at the 50 cent level? Traders, we've got a reversal. Now, just to clarify this, it's like support resistance levels. Traders, they are what we call zones, meaning you can be a couple of ticks or a couple of cents on either side of those, okay? So it doesn't have to be right to the tick. It's quite often that is, but it doesn't have to be. And then you'll get these moves. So let's get back to now. Uh, now here's a good example of where divergence trading can get you. See this here, this was actually what we call a 1D. Just see whether it's on the anchor chart too. Now let's explain this to you. Great little lesson here. So up here, if we look here, we've got uh, divergence. Look, you could almost say you've got it on your anchor chart there, but really you've got a lot of divergence on your anchor chart one. So see this here, you've got a higher high on price and you've got a lower high on your MACD. Okay, that's there. So if you had have taken that and you had a round number bounce, if you had have taken that, turned into a 34B, would have stopped you out by one tick, then it rolled over. Okay, uh, and so it would have got you there. So this is what I mean about divergence trading. 80% of the time it will continue. Now, whilst we're here, I want to quickly point out another great trade that I only, I've got to tell you this, I never saw it for, for 26, 27 years until recently. But mind you, there's a reason for that too. I'll tell you why. See this channel I've got here. I got this idea from Jake Bernstein, um, uh, this channel. He uses an 8 by 8 I'm using a 7 by 8 I found it works even better than the 8 by 8 And the whole idea of the, of the 7 by 8 is you stay with the runners. Look at that there, like you pick up that, that's $300 in that one move, okay? So that's where, I, and I, that's where I got the concept from, how do I pick up the runners? I'm a scalper at heart, I find it very hard to stay in a trade. But anyway, what I discovered was that, see these dots here, these, the, this is a simple concept, we call it the T20. You can, one, it's a simple pattern that appears. When I have a T20 set up and I have a crossover here, we call it um, a T78, okay, uh, you, you get brilliant moves when it's off a divergence trade. So it's not actually a, it's a reversal entry, not actually a divergence trade. You've got two major things pointing out the change in market direction. Ah, look at this over here. <laughs> Another one I've got to show you. Remember I spoke to you about 200 EMA bounces? Look at it there. Bang. So, you know, there's some key points there that you get, but let's quickly, let's get to what's happening now. Okay, just quickly scroll along. Let me just do this. Ah, let's do this. Ah, just before we started, I just scalped a quick eight tick move just on one contract as I was setting up here. Now, here's actually a really good lesson here. So, this was actually what we call a 2B again. Great downtrend. So number one, what's the direction of our trend? Look at the three time frames. You can see my anchor chart one in the middle, anchor chart two is on the right, and of course my entry chart. So we can see right here. This become what we call, and see that there, see you've got basically a triple top, you've got four tops there, and notice I've got a lower high just there. And I know we've got some members in here. Welcome, I can see your names up there. Um, that's what we call a bet the farm. Okay, when we get a double top or a double bottom against a 200 or the 89 EMA on either your entry chart or one of your anchor charts, 
it's um look it's still only an 80 85 percent trade but in the bet the farm's a bit of a, a tongue-in-cheek it's a joke you're still following your normal money management but we i just call it a bet the farm okay so when you've got a double top because the market loves to try things twice here it's tried four times to get past it and it hasn't and i've got divergence so i've got Four, four times it's attempted to get through the 200 and I've got divergence that makes it a bet the farm now look over here see how I'm bouncing off my EMAs that there traders is is the 2b and actually it's a 3b All right now that's a 13 period see that there on the highest time frame so that made a nice little scalp just a little bit below that level now let's get back to this here what's happening currently let me move my pointer back down here okay so uh, what I want to also explain was the pivots this is why you've got to learn how to trade pivots and guess what it's very straightforward so this is actually became right there what we call a pivot magnet trade very high probability trade when you trade any market that trends well once again, ES, NQ, gold, oil, etc. Note the trend. What direction would you say we have got there? We're in a definite downtrend, aren't we? But we're rolling over. Look over here on your anchor charts. What can you see on both anchor charts? You've also got 200 EMAs there. So that actually complicates this a little bit because quite often you'll bounce off those points. But anyway, see here, I've got a short-term stochastic hook and there's a sell opportunity straight into the pivot. What about that there and that there? Well, obviously traders, we're late, too late for that, but what we've got there is a beautiful double bottom that's also a pivot bounce remember some of those screenshots I showed you earlier where I said they were loaded trades why did I say they were loaded we were bouncing off the pivot and what else were we bouncing off and this is live so it's not something I've set up we're bouncing off major EMAs at this stage okay so we've got um, a beautiful double bottom but that was a trade there that was a t12 so was that one what about this one here well in fact traders that there was actually a 2b but when will you consider not taking a trend trade when you're selling into a rising market because in fact that trade right there is yes we've rolled over on our entry chart but it's only a short term move let's expand this and I'll show you what I mean it is very important that on a regular basis you expand your charts to see what's happening on the big picture okay and here I've got multiple I've got six screens so it makes it easy but you want to be expanding what's the overall trend we're in an uptrend Okay, very clearly now uh, what you can do let me give you a little tip uh, if you would say just want to have two time frames up so you're entering your anchor chart put a 600 EMA or even a 550 on your anchor chart one and that will sort of give you a very similar look at what the 200 EMA is doing on your anchor chart two so put on a 550 uh, 600 max and that will give you a good idea what the trend is on an even higher time frame using our multiples okay it works really well so back on the this we can see if we had have sold here we were technically selling and like with the complication with this one we were selling into major EMAs on two time frames now the only reason you might have done that is the pivot because it was also a pivot magnet trade but the rising 200 let's look at the anchor chart two, sort of complicates it in fact you're sort of flat another rule of thumb when price action traders is below the 200 EMA you're generally looking for shorts when you're above the 200 you're generally looking for longs 
Now we have what we call the sweet spot trading. Sweet spot trading is when you've got all three time frames trending together. Now see here on my entry chart how price is now above the 200. We're already above it on the anchor chart one and we're already above it on the anchor chart two. Now this is what we call the first leg of a new trend because when we cross back up above the 200, we pretty much call that the first leg. And you want, see this is so fast here, this is where it's dangerous to try. Now here, um, see here you've got divergence just here so we'll see where we turn now what you don't want to have you don't want to break this low here okay you don't want to break this low but we've got the the 93 and see how we come up and pounce so see how it's a very deep pullback here traders okay very deep now what that means is that oh, look we could take this point we could go from here to here up uh, let me just quickly Look, I'm in very late here. Now, I've just gone long here because that was actually a 2B, but it was very, very late, okay? Now, with this, my target here is eight ticks. I'm gonna leave my stop and my break even is five ticks. Now, I should have already been in this two ticks, which means I've already hit five ticks here. Now, I'm gonna move my stop to one tick below, just here. Now. As I mentioned, this is a very fast moving market. So normally we would not have taken this trade. See how that's gapping, that's moving very, very quickly. Now we do have all EMAs are pointing up. Whoops, let me get back to that. Sorry, everyone. So I just got stopped on that trade. Now, with this here, this entry, if we'd have got in at the right time, that actually touched five ticks, which is my break even. Sometimes I'll make it six ticks, depending on what it's doing. Okay, now what you can do in a fast moving market like this, rather than, and I've got another entry. Okay, so I've gone long again, still highly, it's still a bit dangerous here, but I have entered long. Now I got slippage again. Now I should say, remember we think and talk in trade lots of 20. And let me look at this here. No, we're still in an uptrend. This is just not a great day. And even the time frame's not ideal. I'm gonna get stopped again, I think, on this one. This actually was a 2B again, okay? Now that was a 2B. Note the candle closed here and note the candle has closed just here. Normally speaking, Okay, 85% of the time, we'll do really well on two Bs. There we would have been out of break even. Okay, we would have been break even on that trade. Okay, now on this two B, and I'm bouncing off three, of two other time frames. Okay, so normally now look at this here. See, I've now gone to break even automatically. So what I can do now is actually lock in one tick of profit. Okay, so now I'm filled. So now I picked up my eight ticks. So that one there, I had a loss on that one. Well, the two be back further, so we, we did okay out. This one here uh, would have been a break even, but what if we just, we used the market order? You gotta put it down as a loss. So this is generally a really good 85% trade. Now, what, Let's break it down. We've got what we call the sweet spot happening. That is on all three time frames, we are in an uptrend. Now there's a couple of other things I'd like to point out with this here. We also had here a big picture double top. Look down here, I've got no divergence here, but let's expand the anchor chart too. Aha, uh -huh. look at this here at the moment. See that there, I've got a double top and I've got divergence. One thing that's not great about this, well, one thing, it's a major thing is, I'm still fairly close to my moving averages here, okay? So see that there, I've got angulation, I had a little bit there, had some there. Notice the gap in between the EMAs and price rallying up. That's what we call angulation. 
traders, and that dramatically improves as all your, your divergence trades. Now, this normally would then, normally speaking, would, would turn into A to B again, just here, okay? Now, we are in an uptrend, okay? So we do have a potential to be long. Where the probabilities um, uh, drop on the, and this is where we could, this is where you can go up here. We can put in a, a buy stop here. Whoops, I put it down there. So that's what I mean about, damn it, and I've stuffed that order up. I've got, <laughs> sorry, I've got my uh, MNQ there. Never mind. So let me just um, pull this down. Sorry, let me just pull this down here. Let me just pull this stop up. Now that stop should be, uh, where am I here? So I've got a heap, I've got, on. look, I even got a tick slippage on that trade just then. Let me just pull this down. My inch, so it should be out at 24. So there would be my exit. Now, what I'm saying here is traders, this is a much lower probability. I just wanted to show you some live trade. And why is this a lower probability trade? It's off a double top just here remember i said here double tops on your higher time frame now on your lower time frame when you've got divergence that's your lowest probability but when you have divergence uh, on your higher time frame they can really play havoc on your entry chart down here okay now, let's also, for those that are not interested in oil, let's have a look at the ES. So quickly go to the ES and we'll finish up very soon. So here we've got, in this particular case, I've got, uh, let me just get the right one. By the way, for those that are interested, um, let me show you if I've got my slope. Here we go. For those that might have Ninja Trader, uh, there's another way of trading too, of course, where you can have, um, uh, where you've got the multiple, uh, multiple of your EMAs trending in the same direction. And let me just show you, see if I've got a, a slope one here. Uh, if I've got a four slope, yep, let me just show you this. A lot of traders find this really interesting. So uh, note up here how now, if you look at the middle chart, you can see how, except for the, the yellow, follow the gold, we say that on the 34, everything's red. And so even right up here, we rolled over and see in that area where we all turn red, we're looking for short trades in the direction of the sea of red. And if you're a scalper, had one there, you've got uh, a number of trades here. If you look at all charts, they're all red. Okay, you get some fantastic scalping opportunities, but that's a technique within itself. But once again, it's easy to learn just a matter of just learning how it works. But like all things, I think I started to say it before, who owns the big bucks? Is it the specialist, the guy on the corner, the brain surgeon, the heart surgeon, etc., Or is it your general GP? It's your general practitioner, uh, sorry, it's your specialist that earns the big bucks. Likewise, sorry, I've just got the wrong chart here. Just need to put the right one on for you. Uh, likewise, it's now that's, yep, that's right. It's a specialist. The trader that specializes, and you can see how many trades we get in could have today. There are so many two Bs. And, and as I said, the two tick on, uh, <laughs> look, I've got to show you this. I know it's jumping back again, but see that there. Uh, where is it here? Just get back here and just show you. You know how we got stopped uh, on that trade, oops, just up here. Then it turned into a 2B down here. Remember I said that was very close to that divergence. You, you've got to, you know, firing it off, but it's too close to a double top. Now, why is that a 2B? It's actually another loaded trade. We're bouncing off the 93 a barrel, you're bouncing off the 89 and look, you've got multiple bounces on your anchor chart too. Traders, look, we will finish up. The, the ES is very, very similar. And oh, just if you like your currency futures, 
Let me go to the normal chart here. You've got the 6E. Now that's, uh, they're realistically on the 6E. If um, it's a beautiful market to trade, here on the one tick, you need around $2,000 to trade that at $6.25 a tick. Okay, so if you're trading the six tick, which um, you can trade virtually 23 hours a day normally, see how well my super scalper goes with that there. Okay, when you get these markets, see you, that was a 2B. This one here is a 2B. That's actually, uh, that's actually what we call a 2BD. A, I won't tell you about that now, but there you've got another one, and there you've got another one. All you need is your six tick moves, okay? And see your your uh, super scalper, sorry, see your um, uh, slingshots here. You had one there, here, and here. See how they fired off at the same time? You had those reversals. The advantage of a 6E is it trades, by, I think it's basically 22 hours a day, and it's beautiful for trends. See that there? It trends beautifully as a trend following strategy, but to trade it, you need that two grand. So let's just quickly finish. All right, so very quickly, look, I'm not gonna go through the testimonials traders. In my um, uh, live trading room, uh, just there's dozens of them, okay? Now, does everyone make, make money? No, if you're an impulsive trader, if you break the rules, you're gonna, like, there, taking a trade against a double top within four ticks. It is asking for trouble, okay? And it bit me on the bum just then, all right? But then we had a 2B again straight after, all right? I've literally got dozens, like here's Jan, as she said, in my 20 years I've studied, as she said, um, and Jan's still with me. Now, with that, I've just got to, sh I wasn't even going to pull this up, but let me just show you this very, very quickly. I think it's this one. Uh, no, it's not that one. Um, it's the next one. This is in one night last week in the live room. I do have to show you this. I was joking about um, uh, April, one of my members, it's a lady. She said to me a number of times, I, I'm too cheap. And I said, um, uh, in the room, I'm gonna start charging more. And, and um, Raymond said, uh, charge new members more, not us. Okay, um, you teach 20, uh, setups for the one fifth of a price others teach. I think it was far more advanced. Uh, you're changing my world. She's a single mum, and I just wanted to to bring to, just to mention that we've got a lot of women uh, trading with it. But traders, as you can probably tell, I love doing what I do. So let's not go through. And there's I've just got dozens of clients where they send in their charts. Look at this here. These all, by the way, do you know what they are? 34 Bs and two Bs all the way. All right, so, uh, and that's John Yee. Now, John Yee, we call him the Moose Hunter. He lives in Canada. Uh, he had his first $20,000 day. Um, he's been a member now for six years. And as he says, Dan, he dropped me an email. He's in the room now most days now. Uh, he dropped me an email last year. Um, I actually emailed him just to see how he was going. And before COVID, I was gonna move back to the US. So I used to live in Santa Monica. Um, so as he said here, like a breath of fresh air, he had his first $20,000 day um, week before last. And uh, as he says here, I'm still using a super scalper and I fine tuned it and when to apply it. It's basically still my setups, but bottom line, he is kicking butt. Now, moving along, what's the most cost effective way to learn all of this? Traders, all of this, what I'm about to show you is less than $500 for a year in all of my rooms. So let me quickly show you. First of all, the Day Traders Fast Track program. There are literally hundreds of handouts. There's 34 PowerPoints. And the great news is no traders, you don't start with all of those. You start with two setups. The reason I teach so many setups, because we got full-time professional traders, okay? And they want more. So what I say to all traders in the live room and in the coaching room, just stay focused on the 34B, 2B, and you don't develop from there. So we cover timeframes, um, the best time. Look, there's just 
tons of, but let me get to the main content, okay? First of all, psychology, I actually hired a hypnotherapist to record hypnotherapy sessions for my members. So when the uh, a webinar I did two years ago, there's a heap of, um, you can download all of these MP3 files uh, um, on trading affirmations, hypnotherapy, or lofty questions, all sorts of things, because if you don't get your mind right, you're not gonna get your trading right. Traders, if you um, uh, don't follow the rules, you know, if, and it's, as I said earlier, trading's easy, it's mastering the mind is hard, okay? There's a heap of stuff around our psychology. There's also over 300 videos from over the years. Now, of course, you only wanna watch the ones you're interested in, but some love watching them all, okay? There's a big Excel spreadsheet of links that you get. There are hundreds of marked up charts with commentary. Remember, this is a pattern solving exercise, traders. On my Google Drive, the members areas, I uh, won't go in and open all of these up. I'll go to that thing. There's literally dozens of handouts in each folder, research reports, items from other members, um, just a ton of stuff there, okay? Loose handouts, of PowerPoints and cheat sheets calculators that members have sent in. I mentioned there's over 30 PowerPoints now also. There's dozens of, of uh, handouts if you like to scalp the market. Uh, there's reference guides, there's cheat sheets, there's report cards, etc. Uh, there's the Excel spreadsheets, the three that I've shown you for setting your income targets, also for setting how many trades a day could you reasonably expect that you'd have to do, okay? Uh, um, as I said, um, winning traders aren't willing to do the things that losing traders are not willing to do, and that also means coming to coaching. Traders, you need a coach. That's the bottom line. Even if you're a full-time trader, like the four guys that I have in every single trading class that work for a major firm in Chicago, they're in there, and they have been for the last three years. Why? To keep them right up there with their skill set. So in those sessions, we cover best time frames. We go through dozens of setups of the day, etc. So the coaching sessions is two a week of two hours each. Um, and in each folder, so okay, so like now we're in the February month, each day there is a number of handouts you download. Okay, uh, you've got permanent access, so access to them, so you don't have to download, but then you've got PowerPoints in those. There's literally dozens of topics that we cover, but most importantly, we go over trades of the day. So we'll, we'll go back and, and really do an autopsy on the trading, usually on one or two markets, but there's so many things that we cover. We spend a lot more in, in the live trading room, that's really about live trading. But in here, it's really about how we trade pivot bounces, um, you know, tips and you know, money management, etc. Then the live coaching trading room. That's where the rubber meets the road. And that's where really I'm explaining trade setups step by step as they set up. Now, if you can't attend the live sessions, they are recorded. So there's um, uh, three two hour sessions a week. Now, they're not gonna suit everyone. I'll show you the times in a moment. Um, uh, look, here's our two B stats, 13 wins and two Bs, 86% champagne. Thanks for today, nice little profit on the 34, four wins. Uh, time to go for the job. We've got a bit of a joke, a joke on that. Job stands for just over broke, okay, until you start. Uh, this is April again. Big thank you, being in the coaching, coaching class for one year. She's only just now gone into the live room about a month ago. This is like graduating to the next level. Learned a lot tonight, feel all coming together. Oh, this is when she said she doesn't, <laughs> this is another night, I don't charge enough. Uh, we get down then, so there are three components. The Day Traders Fast Track program on my website, you'll see it's $197 and I include all of my indicators. If you don't have enough money to, to 497, which I'll show you, which gives you everything in a moment for a year, and by, by the way, you have lifetime access for 197, start here, because it at least gives you the videos, et cetera, and it really gets you underway. Indicators, gives you everything, okay? Except 
the coaching room and the live trading room. Two, six months of a private group coaching sessions. On my website, you'll see it's 97 a month. Too cheap, okay, that's uh, eight live two hour sessions a month, including handouts. Three, six months in live trading room. That's three sessions a week. Website price is 197 a month. Now with that, I do have to point out the hours. Every second week, it's 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now I know that's early for you in the US, it's my evening, okay? I found um, working in the middle of the night, working at midnight through to three in the morning was not good for my health, so hence there. But alternative weeks, it's in five to seven, six sessions a month, okay? So it's a little bit better. And if you're serious about your trading, it's price of really part of learning how to master the art. I mean, you in the US, you've got it so good with the hours that you've got, let me tell you. Now, also, if you join today, I'm gonna to make it not only six months, I'm gonna make it 12 months. That is, for $497, I'm gonna give you one year's access to my coaching classes, that's eight a month. I'm gonna give you um, uh, one year's access to my live trading room, okay? So in total, that's $2.10 for every session over a year, $2.10. There is nothing else like this traders. And as you probably gathered, I love what I do and I'm damn good at what I do. I've been doing this now for 27 years and I've become better and better at it. Okay, it's it's called screen time traders. That's what it really comes down to. And the great thing is, except for your chart, there's nothing else for you to have to buy. Okay, so $497. Now, if you're already a member, of the fast, and I know we've got some members and are not members in the coaching yet, you can save a further $100. That is, uh, your investment's only $397 for a 12-month membership. That's 96 live and recorded sessions, 144 um, uh, live trading room sessions. Oh, and for I also give you one year and if you want to watch them, one year of the live coaching sessions as well, the links to 12 months of that. So that's less than $1.66 for a recorded or a live two hour session. Now, I've uploaded the link, okay? So I've uploaded a little PDF for you into the GoToWebinar where you can download this, okay? Where it explains exactly that. So if you're brand new, uh, here, 497 traders for a year. There is nothing else like this. Option two, if you're already a member, it's only $397. Now, what if you don't trade the futures market? You apply the exact same strategies to stocks and Forex. It is no different. What you'll actually discover is the markets are what we call fractal in nature. The time frames, the, the, the setup you see that sets up on a daily chart will set up on a tick chart. Uh, what sets up on a one tick chart will set up on a tick chart. It's amazing when you start to learn it, just like the 200 EMA. A 200 EMA bounce is powerful on an entry course is extremely powerful on an anchor chart too because you get a larger move but it still bounces so traders um, I've covered a lot of information hopefully there it's really giving you some great ideas but even better still come and join me and uh, over a period of time and and I'll oh, look just a couple of questions and this come up um, I'm, I've just ran these last week as well and a week before look I say to all traders allow 60 to 90 days. The unfortunate part is that yes, the riches are here in this business. However, you've got to give yourself time and that the traders that kick butt in this business, are the ones that say, I'm gonna do this, I'm serious, I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna give myself that 90 days. For an example, no live trading in your first 30 days. None, you've got to ban yourself from that. It's so important, traders. This is a business. 
And that's why every coaching session, we spend half an hour just on the psychology of trading, on neuro-linguistic techniques, on reframing, etc. This is a head game. The two Bs are two Bs. You'll see hundreds of them every day. Where we let ourselves down is like jumping in straight after divergence. Okay, wanting to jump in too early. So traders, come and join me. Um, my next, by the way, the next live session is tonight or very early in the morning. Uh, and we've got, of course, uh, the normal coaching sessions, Tuesday, Wednesday, USA time this week. But um, oh, there's a ton of materials. But, and I will say this, because I know a couple of you here are saying they're joining now, is that don't feel overwhelmed because that really hinders your learning. Initially, and we covered this in the coaching classes, you wanna focus on the 2B and the 34B. Yes, you need to learn what constitutes a trend, and I teach you that and the divergence, but you only need two setups. So traders, thank you very much for attending. I certainly hope this is educational, and I certainly look forward to seeing many of you. Are oh, you welcome, Jeff, in my coaching session. Okay, traders, thank you very much. So you can download, as I mentioned, from the GoTo uh, webinar. Uh, and of course, we'll be emailing out the uh, the video link. Thank you, traders. Cheers, everyone.